48 past the hour. Joining us now, former chief official White House photographer Pete Souza. His new book, Obama, an intimate portrait, features more than 300 photos taken by Pete during President Barack Obama's eight years in the Oval Office. Welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Thanks I'm for doing being great. on. Thanks this for looks amazing. Me. Um, give us a sense. I mean, I was just flipping through it. This is going to take quite some time. It's, uh, a, it's kind of. Uh, given today's news, it, it's kind of exciting to look at these pictures once again because we've been through such tur turbulent times. But you're using some of these pictures to troll the president himself. Tell us about that. Well, I have an Instagram feed, and, mm -hmm. I, and I post some throwback photos of oh President God. Obama, and I let the, the, the feed speak for itself. Because pictures speak for themselves, obviously, and tell the truth, little moments of truth. Facts matter. Facts matter. So, Pete, over your uh, eight years, the two terms of President Obama, it seems, just looking at your photography, like you were in just about every room. You were in just about every meeting. Can you describe the kind of access that you had? Did the president ever say, Pete, get the hell out of the room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it helped that I had a prior relationship with him in right. that I had been working for the Chicago Tribune, met him when he was a senator. So I knew him four years before he became president. But that was a condition of the job. To truly document the president for history, you really need to be in everything. So I, I asked for that access, and I think he trusted me enough to allow me to be in essentially every meeting that he ever had. Wow. You know, wow. Pete, there are so many photos, both on your Instagram feed and obviously in this book, uh, that I think would cause many Americans upon seeing them to stop and think, you know, wow, that's a time that we truly miss. There's the iconic photograph that was on the Instagram feed just a few days ago, the rainbow uh, yep. ending as the president is at the, the top of the steps of Air Force One. The photograph, I think, that you posted on Halloween of the president with a, with a youngster in a Batman uniform in the Oval Office. What goes through your mind today as you look back putting these photos together as a collection for this book? I mean, my, my goal going into the job was to create the best photographic archive that had ever been done of a president. My goal for the book was to create the best photographic book of a president that had ever been done. And hopefully I've presented uh, the narrative of his eight years, mm -hmm. but also tried to include some really cool pictures that occurred during his administration. You did. <laughs> John Hellman. Well, what, yeah, I'm, I'm curious of you, of over the time that you shot him, um, you just in the White House, let's take those eight years, how did the challenge and the relationship change over that period of time? As you said, you knew him before he started, but he became president. He changed as president in various ways. So how did the relationship between the two of you evolve? As far as the relationship, when you spend that much time with someone, yeah. you obviously grow closer to them. So I got to know him quite well. He got to know me quite well. So I think by the end, we were, we were friends. Not the kind of friend that he would invite me over for dinner, but the kind of friend, let's play cards while we're on Air Force One, that kind of friend. But you were also kind of artist and subject. And so yep. that, that relationship presumably evolved in some way. So just speak to that a little bit. If it did change, how did it change? I don't know that it changed. I think that after the first few months, he became so accustomed to me being around right. that I was able to capture much more intimate pictures because I was almost like part of the family. And these pictures from uh, Newtown. Yeah. Uh, you mm -hmm. were there for every second of this president receiving the news, processing the news, and then coping with the news. Well, I mean, even today he says that was his worst day as president. Were. And I, I think he was reacting not just as a president but as a fellow parent. As a human. Yes. Joe? No. Hey, uh, Pete, uh, because you were so close to him and you covered him so long, uh, talk about, and of course, every president's complex. Uh, they all have different sides of their personalities. It always struck me that Barack Obama was constantly criticized from afar for being aloof. And he was, I mean, Democratic senators would say that to us off the record all the time. He's so aloof. He said that he's a professor. And yet, Whenever you met him in person, he was warm and personable. He seemed and likable. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about uh, the two Obamas and where you saw, <laughs> saw those two Obamas coming into conflict? Uh, there were not two Obamas. 
I mean, I think what happens oftentimes is uh, a president, there's a caricature created of him, and that's the way people think about him. He was not aloof. He was from Hawaii. He was laid back. He enjoyed the friends that he had had for much of his life. He didn't circuit the Washington cocktail party. That's just who he was. That wasn't aloof. I don't know where that all got started, but I never saw that. It was good judgment. <laughs> okay, the book yeah, is... Yeah, he certainly, certainly doesn't look it in the pictures, does he, Mika? No, mm. not at all. This is uh, amazing. The book is Obama, an Intimate Portrait. Out now. Pete Souza, thank you so much for Thanks coming for on. Thanks for having me on. Looks great. It is fueling uh, a lot of nostalgia. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, one of the more emotional stories from last night's elections in Virginia. Keep it right here on Morning Joe. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.